Hey guys, Moshe the Electric Israeli is here and thank you for joining. And I have to tell you, I've been reading uh, the uh, Tesla Model Y uh, owner's manual obsessively. In the last couple of days, I posted videos about the uh, trunk space, which is awesome. Uh, the roof rails, the, the lack of a tow hitch of, as of now. So we'll see what happened later on. And now it talks about an off-road. Let me let me just read to you what the what Tesla said about off-road for the Tesla Model Y. Off-road assist is designed to provide overall improvement when driving off-road. In addition to allowing the wheels to spin, off-road assist uh, assist balances the torque between the front and the rear motors to optimize traction. Off-road assist improves traction on rough and on soft surfaces when one side of the vehicle may lose traction while the other side is, uh, is, is side still has a uh, traction. When off-road assist is on, the accelerator pedal provides more uh, a gradual torque, which is useful for crawling at low speeds, for example, over rocky surfaces. When enabled, off-road displays uh, on the touch screen above the driving speed. Okay, so that's standards that's nice uh, Subaru cars do that it's called uh, uh, differential the uh, wheels that don't grip the other wheels take over so that's all in good but let me give you my opinion first of all it's it's nice to uh, that uh, Tesla has it I'm sure this is going to be very useful in snow uh, it's very it will be very good traction snow especially going up up a hill uh, Tesla model 3 doesn't have it okay so Tesla model Y has it no let me let me just tell you Tesla model Y is not an SUV Tesla model Y is a small crossover very very similar to let's say the Toyota RAV4 which is a great car there's no question about it now it will have a seven seat option but this is going to be very very tiny and all that so it's great I highly recommend you do not take it off road. Do yourself a big favor. Do not take it off the road, especially not on rocky places. This is not what it meant to. You don't want to puncture a hole at the bottom of the uh, battery. Uh, what uh, uh, what protects the battery? Now I can see it. Let's say you go to the beach, you go to the shore, and there's a little gravel roll or some sand roll, a sand road. Uh, that you have to go like a little bit unpaved. I have friends in the country, in upstate New York, we go and getting to their house, it's a little gravel road. So it's okay that you drive slow, 10 miles an hour, and it's, and it's fine. But rocky roads, like with rocks and things like that, you don't want to do that. That's not what it meant. But it's not going to be a workhorse. It's going to be a nice assist. I'm sure it's going to be great for the snow, the all-wheel drive. That That's definitely going to be great. Uh, it will have a nice grip. But heed my lesson. Don't take it really, really off-road, like into places like in Arizona or places like that when you go fishing and there's a rocky road uh, to go down to the to the river, to the lake. You don't want to do that. That's that's not that's not a good idea. But like, like I said, gravel, sand. I would do that. Okay, guys, let me know in the, in the comments if you will uh, take that chance and do it. I wouldn't. Love to hear what you have to say. Thank you, guys. Talk to you tomorrow.